just feels like it's been so long. So long since I did one of these. It's like three or four weeks ago, but darn it. It's back. Hello ladies and gentlemen, YouTube21 here. So, as I mentioned, it's been a long time, and it just, it's been like two, three, or four weeks since I've done an unboxing video. It's been a really long time, but today, I went to the Kroger's out in my area and picked these up, and soon I'll be going there again to see if they've restocked, because I'm pretty confident with my fours like ours. I really want to complete the series, but... Let's just take a look at the cars I got for today. So we got a Mazda MX-5 Miata, 215. Corvette C7 Z06 convertible, custom Datsun 240Z, not the Cars and Donuts one. Tesla Model S, and the 73 BMW 3 CSL race car. And with that said, let's take a look at the first car. The first car, the 2015 Mazda MX-5 Miata. But, with that said, let's take a look at the package. So this is the 2017 car, and we have two 2017 cars, like the Tesla Model S and the Miata. So, let's take a look at the package. Guaranteed for life. 177 out of 365, there's some indentation there. Put a case coating or something. Hot wheels. The car itself, it's 9 out of 10 for the 2017 HW Speed Graphics. It's like a checkered flag and then kind of ending like a flame, kind of. Ages 3 and up. Back case coating, lifetime limited warranty. Oh, I kind of got that off. Limited lifetime warranty. But 15 Monster MX-5 Miata. HW Speed Graphics, real race performers that speed fast on the track. 9 out of 10. We'll draw this collection. For copyright. iBox Springs. iMark or eBox, I don't know. Barcode, just a bunch of other crap. I have a lot of stuff in these packages, but. That said, let's open the car up. So here's the MX-5 out of the package, and yes, this is one beautiful MX-5, like, such an awesome looking roadster. So, this MX-5 is not a stock MX-5, it's a, uh, appears to be like a, uh, racing tuned MX-5. I don't know what they race these in. Let's take a look at it. So the base, it's black, oh, I almost dropped it, black plastic, 250 Mazda MX-5 Miata, 215 Mattel Hot Wheels. It's a beautiful blue, I really like it. PR5, Synchrome, iBox Springs, Hot Wheels, iBox again, Mazda, Mazda logo, some black indentations right there, I don't know what those are. The headlights are not colored, unfortunately. You dare damn, and some small vents on the side. Same on the other side. Also, kind of the base kind of goes up like that, probably for like aerodynamics, because this is not a stock MX-5. A little bit of a wing back there. Huge, massive rear spoiler. Tail lights not detailed, unfortunately. I don't know why Hollywood doesn't bother detailing their headlights. I really like it when they do that. Plus some rear indicators right there, kind of around the vents with the license plate, tail lights as I mentioned. The interior, since it's it's a uh, roadster, I can take a look at it. Ooh, it's right-hand drive. So freaking cool. Appears to be pretty detailed inside there. There's a manual, so kind of a little roll cage around there. 
yeah. It's all for the 250 Mazda MX-5 Miata. So, let's go on to the next car. The Corvette C7 Z06 Convertible. As you might have saw earlier, I got a, about a month ago, I got a uh, normal Z06. But this is the convertible version, so let's take a look at the package. New for 2018. Pretty detailed look of the Z06. Hot Wheels, bunch of kitty stuff in the background. Guaranteed for life. 563.65, pretty early one. HW 50 years, factory fresh, 9 out of 10. Well, both 9 out of 10. Factory fresh. We just threw it up. Give a little fact sheet since a new car. Case coding. Corvette C7 Z06 convertible. Born 2017, Detroit, Michigan. Designer, General Motors. Imagine on the track and developed alongside race cars, this supercharged dream machine combines sheer power with awesome efficiency. Its 6.2 liter aluminum V engine with 650 horsepower will take you from 0 to 60 in 2.9 seconds. Wow. And turning heads as it effortlessly speeds by. 9 out of 10, factory fresh, highly detailed canyon design, it's going to drive us to turn heads. I literally know that by heart. Good job, it's collection, blah, 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 copyright, General Motors. Just that stuff. And that's all for the package of the Z06. So let's open the car up. So here's the Z06 convertible out of the package. It's a really beautiful looking car, but the base is not detailed that much. C7 Z06 convertible, TNC Mattel, in Malaysia. It has uh, wide back wheels. I think the uh, other Z06 has this too. PR5s with a uh, chrome outline. Really nice blue. It's the kind of Z06 body kit. A vent right there in intake. Another one in the bonnet. Corvette logo. Lights are detailed, large air dam. Has the body kit as I mentioned. It's a fuel filler door. Same as the other side, except the fuel filler door. Have a small spoiler. Tail lights are detailed. Corvette. One exhaust, you have the license plate and the indicators. The interior. It's not right hand drive. These are not sold in the UK, I'm pretty sure. And that's all for the Corfet C7 Z06 convertible. So let's go on to the next car. The custom Datsun 240Z. So let's take a look at the package. We have the Datsun itself, Hot Wheels, guaranteed for life, 15,365. It should be 50 years. This one says which best for track, I meaning that you can like work swell on like Hot Wheels track sets and stuff. I don't really mess around with those or anything, but because they scuff off good cars, but. One out of ten night burners. You just three up with a little bit of accent. Custom Batson 240Z case coating. Night burner super speeders designed for night driving. Blue job is collection, copyright. A bunch of stuff. Nissan. Get ready. Borla. That's a lot of stuff. Maybe not this many, but. But that's all for the package of the Datsun 240Z. So let's open the car up. <music> Quick side note, my Z06 keeps on like rolling. I try to put it back there. Well, it stayed this time, but it kept on rolling. So 
Here's the 240Z out of the package. This is a classic looking Datsun and it looks amazing. So, got some Datsun 240Z to the 60 Mattel in Malaysia. We have this kind of new interesting, this interesting new wheel. This is a really, I don't really know what it's called, but let's say, uh, it's around chrome accenting. It's can't really feel what to call it, but I'll have to look it up, so. Can't tell what that says. Rainbow House or something. And cheap hot wheel cars, they really did not do a good job with the uh, stripes. I think this is Neo Kato, probably it's Japanese or something. Stripes. Really like these uh, mirrors stick up on the bonnet. Hot uh, Wheels board ledger ready. Black tank scenting. Headlights. Air dim. I think there are small indicators, maybe fog lights, I don't know. Some really good looking Datsun. Kinda has these, uh, as it being custom, kinda has like these large, a large kind of wheel base these large fenders. Single exhaust port. Tail lights, spoiler. Pretty sure that's from the interior, that's a spare tire taken out. Better not be a subwoofer, because that's rice. It says silver. There's no roll cage or anything. It's left hand drive, unfortunately. It's pretty detailed inside there. And that's all for the custom Natsum 240Z. So let's go into the next car. The Tesla Model S. So earlier I got a Tesla Model X. Now we have the Model S. Oh, Paul Wheels makes a Model 3. Let's take a look at the package. Guaranteed for life Hot Wheels. 175 out of 365. This one says another track car. The Tesla Model S. 6 out of 10. Factory Fresh Tesla Model S. You just threw it up. Case going warranty, Tesla Model S, factory fresh, how they do the cutting and design, just prepared to skin the driver's seat, prepared to turn head, 6 out of 10, go to Robo's collection. Oh, the light flickered. Tesla, copyright, barcode, yeah, blah blah blah, Mattel. He just threw it up. But, it's all for the Tesla Model X's package. So let's open the car up. So, here's the Model S out of the package. This must be like a sport version because it has like the spoiler up. A really awesome looking car. Shame the owner of Tesla is such a jerk to Jeremy Clarkson. Elon Musk. So, um, so we have Tesla Model S, Gen 14 Mattel. Obviously a 215 car, made in Malaysia, black plastic base, PR5s, the door handles, I've always really liked those, the retractable ones, like an indicator right there. It's an electric car by the way, Tesla. The headlights, some indicators right there, a large, large grill, and there's the that's just a crappy T right there. A little bit of an air dimmer down there. Same as the other side. Tesla Model S, Hot Wheels, tail lights, and the Tesla is around like chrome accenting. The panoramics. Must the Tesla Model S has a panoramic sunroof so we can see through. Probably a boot cover or something. Looks pretty spacey in there. They really don't need to detail that much because it just has a huge touch screen that basically controls everything. And that's all for the Tesla Model S. So let's go on to the next car. The 73 BMW 3 CSL race car. So this is a Forza car, so it has a lot of detailed packaging. 
hope to get some more Forza cars today or tomorrow, I don't know. Let's go look at the package. We have Hot Wheels, the Forza logo, Forza Motorsport. A lot of stuff in the background. Tires, stool kit. This might be like battery chargers, I don't know. Maybe oil cans. More tires, Forza, and the Turn 10 logo. Car itself, really detailed. Forza Motorsports, 93 BMW 3 CSL race car, 2 out of 5, metal to metal, real riders. Case going in Forza Motorsport. All the cars you can get from the series. Or you have the Ford GT Race and the 911. Copyright, warranty, I don't know. Copyright, like Bell, Ford, Forza, Goodyear, Coney, Xbox, Pagani, and Microsoft. Copyright for the adult collector, HW Collectors. And that's all for the package of the 73 BMW 3 CSL race car. A lot to say, but let's open this beauty up. Here's the BMW 3 CSL on the package. I was probably just going to call it the CSL because that's a lot to say. And yeah, my Z06 just does not want to stay, so I'm going to have to put it kind of like that because it really doesn't want to stay. Nor does the Forza package. But let's take a look at the card. So it's a metal base painted white. 73 BMW 3 CSL race car. Rubber tires, BBS with the Goodyear logo. The, uh, the M performance stripes. Forza. Something else. Camera focus. Goodyear and something else. Oh. Can't tell. The yeah, performance stripe going right at the bottom. There's an exhaust port sticking out. Forza Bell. It's a intake right there. More of the M performance stripes and indicator. Well, I really like how that Forza kind of logo and kind of both facing each other in the bonnet. Also, I thought it was the Pontiac Firebird logo at first. Really nice white color. More M performance stripe in the bonnet. There's a little bit of red going across there. Traditional BMW front from the 70s, that is. Fog lights. Same as the other side. Tail lights. Spoiler. I don't know what those things do. So another kind of spo small wing spoiler going in the back. Lots of rally cars have those as a cruise as a rally car. I should think you can see a spare tire inside the interior. It's unfortunately left-hand drive. There's actually a windscreen wiper on the on the windscreen. And that's all for the 73 BMW 3 CSL race car. So let's see if I have some cars at Kroger's again. And well. We're now at my computer desk because, well, it's raining outside. I don't want to get any of the cards wet having to bring them in and out. And, well, we're just going to film it here. So, I initially went back. I was planning to pick up the, uh, I think it was the Speedster. Yeah, of course, uh, yeah, the Speedster, the 356, and the Pagani y rock but... It took an L because Kroger didn't restock. So I went ahead and picked up some of the cars that were already there that I kind of wanted to get at that current time. So let's take a look at them. Got a 2016 Chevrolet Samara Convertible. It's another what you'd call a uh, matchbox kind of box. There's like a, oh yeah, power, I think they're called power grabs. That's what it said when I was checking it out. But 
1990 Honda Civic EF, 2016 Honda Civic Type R, and the 1990 Acura NSX. So, those are all the cars I got today. So let's take a look at the first one. The 2016 Chevrolet Samaro Convertible. So it's a, another matchbox, as I mentioned. Let's take a look at the package. So a matchbox, kind of a little accenting. The car itself, one vehicle, 2016 Chevrolet Samaro Convertible, ages three and up. Probably like a series. Let's see if it says anything. It's like a it's a, a stoplight. I don't know. But they don't really tell me the series, but metal parts. Not all metal parts, since the the body. Imported by Mattel Canada. Two out of 125 matchbox. Again, the car again. Barcode matchbox.com. Super fast service Mattel. It's a uh, warning thing. We have GM. A little bit of trademark. Copyright. Mattel. Didn't really say anything about the series it's part of. But, that said, let's open the car up. Now, we have the smart out of the package, but one thing I do want to point out is that like in like the inside flaps, it says uh, metal parts again. I don't know if what it says on the other side, but it's kind of interesting that they just put something on the flap. I think that was like a defect or something. I don't know, but let's take a look at the car now. Yes, this is a really, really good model of it. It's such a great looking car. But... So let's take a look at it. So we have a kind of darkest charcoal, chromed, five spoke, feel, feel fuller door, really pretty red. Uh, matchbox, 216 Chevrolet Samaro, made in Thailand instead of Malaysia. Some scoops in the bonnet. Large Chevrolet air dam. We have the Chevrolet logo, a, a grill, and some of the side of fog lights, and the Headlights themselves. Okay, the door is right there. I barely point that out, but it's dual exhaust. Show right logo. We have the, the brake light. The two tail lights, and we have a license plate. These, these are always fun to read. Zoom, zoom out. Gosh, that was just Samaro, but it's hard to zoom in. See it's stuff. I mean, one minute you get it, and then the next minute just blurs. I think it might say Manhattan. And there's something on the side. I don't know. Maybe the year. And the inside, it's pretty detailed. Can't tell what kind of transmission that is. It's just kind of a hump. Might might be a manual, I don't know. And the interior is pretty detailed. But it's all for the 216 Chevrolet Samaro convertible. So let's go on to the next car. The 1990 Honda Civic EF. It's a really good looking hot hatchback from the 90s. Looks a little more 80s like, but still I love hot hatchbacks. It was a little wet, but so let's take a look at the package. Guaranteed for life. 330 on 365. Hot Wheels logo. The car itself. 2 out of 10. Then and now. This is the then version. I have the now version, which is the Type R. 1990 Honda Civic EF. It's 3 and up. Case coding. Lifetime warranty. Honda Civic EF. Then and now. Can you collect a car? <laughs> Cars from the past and present can you collect all five pairs, two out of ten, the Robbie's collection, blah blah blah. Under no trademark information. Mattel, Barco, not suitable for children, not suitable for children in our three six months. So yeah, it's basically the usual. So with that said, let's open this beauty up. 
This is a heck of a hatchback. Also, I actually thought this was the Type R when I first saw it come out, like when Hot Wheels like first like released their lineup. But still, it looks pretty good. So let's take a look at it. So the Pier Fives with red chrome around the outside. That that looks pretty good. Hey, it's pretty good. Uh, Honda Civic EF. Hot Wheels made in Malaysia, plastic black, plastic base. Have a little red and black stripe going along there. With an indicator, door handles, the uh, the B pillars detail. It's black. This is the big one. Do our overhead cam. V Tech just kicked in, yeah. The Honda logo, the headlights, large air dam. Probably some indicators of fog lights, maybe events, I don't know. It's kind of crumpled in the front, honestly. I don't know if you can see it, but this looks kind of crumpled. I don't know if that's an error of the molding or the paint or what. If the feel for the door, same as the other side. View tech. I have to mention that we have a wing on the back hatch. Tail lights, single exhaust port. License plate. We have a sunroof right there. It is right hand drive. Red interior. I think that's a manual. This one looks pretty good. Obviously, going to be one of my favorites in my collection. So, with that said, let's go on to the next car. A 2016 Honda Civic Type R. Take a look. Guaranteed for life. 327 on 365. Hot wheels new for Gen 17. The Type R itself. And then are now 1 out of 10. So Type R just threw it up. Since so the new one, we have a fact sheet. Case code and warranty. So we have born 2 and 16. Birthplace, Swindon, England. Designer, Honda. 2 and 16 Honda Civic Type R. If one of the fastest, most powerful front-wheel drive cars in existence is what you're looking for, look no further than the 2016 Honda Civic Type R. Its 310 horsepower engine will take you from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 5.7 seconds. Not bad for a hatchback. Are they trying to insult hatchbacks there? So now the 2018 Honda Civic Type R is the fastest front-wheel drive car around the Nurburgring. Then now, across in the past and present, come and can you collect all five pairs? But your collection, copyright warranty, I don't know, blah blah blah. Honda, Mattel, barcode, whatever. So, with that said, let's open this beauty up. So yes. It's probably my second favorite type R probably. I I fear it's the new one, but let's take a look at it. So I really like the touch with the wheels because they kind of look like the actual wheels the car has. These are like kind of five spoke, the red chrome on the outside. I mean Malaysia, yes, black plastic base. Do the headlights under Type R. So Type R right there, probably in the grill. And they have the Type R license plate. Depends on the air dam. Same as the other side, we have an antenna sticking up. Right there. Massive rear spoiler. That's pretty detailed. Civic. Type R. Hot Wheels. The Honda badge. Specifically the Type R one, because they have like the like the red in the middle. The tail lights, fill for the door. And I've actually noticed this because I have another one of these. Um, I was like, it's a long story how I got it, and you see, you'll guys see it someday. But for odd reasons, it's left-hand drive. They did not sell this in the U.S. This is this specific Honda Civic Type R is exclusive to like the U.K., J Japan other countries but red interiors presumably a manual K 
can't really see inside, it's kind of tinted. But, it's all for the Gen 16 Honda Super Type R. So let's go on to the last car. Last but not least, we have the 1990 Acura NSX. This is just a beautiful one. This is such an awesome looking car. This is a great car, it's a legend. Let's take a look at the package. Guaranteed for life, Hot Wheels, 50 years, 4365, the NSX itself, 6 out of 10, factory fresh, 1990 NSX, with a little bit of accent around there, ages 3 and up, the Acura NSX, highly detailed cutting and design, prepared in the driver's seat, prepared to turn heads, blue around this collection, Acura, Mattel, consumer information, But, with that said, let's open this beauty up. So here's the NSX out of the package. Yes, this is this is actually probably one of the best looking variations. It looks really good. I actually kind of saw an NSX like this at Cars and Coffee recently. But, let's take a look at it. Five spoke, the traditional. Those have been out for a long time. Black plastic bait made in Malaysia. The event right there, a little bit of, I forgot what you call that, <laughs> it's kind of a bonding kit kind of going across there, pop up headlights, some indicators, some vents on air dam, a splitter right there, same as the other side except we have the fuel floater door, a spoiler right there, hot wheels, Acura, we have the tail lights. Maybe a spoiler going across there. And one thing I really like about this NSX is that the exhaust. Because, um, like, the exhaust is part of the interior piece, and I always thought that was a really cool feature. Let's take a look at the interior, right? Can't see inside. Is this all black? I cannot see inside here. For some odd reason, I just cannot see inside here. Wait a minute here. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's not all black. It's just severely tinted. So, you're going to have to bear with me for one second because I'm going to go get an interior piece from a, another NSX that I have. So here's a actual interior piece from another NSX. It's kind of another project car. I'm painting it and stuff. And Let's take a look at it. So we have the Racing seats, seat belts on them. We have a manual, left hand drive, unfortunately. We have the engine, and of course, the exhaust ports, as I mentioned. But yeah, it's all for the 1990 Acura NSX, and that's all for this video. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you liked the video today. So be sure to like, comment, subscribe, check out my channel, UAR, and, and so much more. So, that's all for today's video, and goodbye.